Doctor. Howdy, friends, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. My name is Super Paul Games, and I'm uh, playing some Red Dead Redemption. What's it look like I'm doing? Cha cha! Jump into that building. Oh, that was weak. <laughs> Whatever. I wanted it to be stronger. That's what I say after sex. I wanted it to be better, but that's what you got. High five. Gas, Marston, sir. It's good to see you, old bean. Good to see you. I'm not a bean. Too, professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul. What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use a pejorative such as worse, but, 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 but lesser. Meaning. Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god! You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir! I shall! Mark my words! I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the nubs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to sate both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlind and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type! Come, sir! That's what I always say when I'm having sex with a lady. Come, sir! Well, I guess, madam. Come, madam! Follow me! I asked the stars to bring the horses around front. Get, get, quick, man! Quick! Ah, uh, fuck it. I can get my own horse. Let's do it, filthy hoa! Heart's beating like a drum! Is that a Palomino he's got? Oh, no. I've never been so excited in all my life! Hello, Professor. Mr. Marston. Hey, Nostas. How are you feeling since you got shut up, bro? Years of research! What were you talking about back there? Where are we going? Nastas has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls. Where'd he go? Indians and whites, academics and criminals coming together to find a common understanding. Nastas, this fool's making no sense. I like coming together. Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal up at Bearclaw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. <laughs> Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? Yeah. I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, if somebody's like, hey, can I get a skin sample from the yeah. soles of your feet? I'd be like, that's a little creepy. Unless it was my one of my lady viewers, then I'd be like, that's very creepy. <laughs> Uh, I have to say, the touch of the old jitters. No, kid. That's no smoke. Whoa. The bear! Shoot it! Shoot it! No, it didn't do anything to us. It's hot. In the head, at least. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. Forgive me. My God, that was terrifying. Then I say we leave before any of its friends oh. turn up. I like bears. Uncle Dave was the one sitting down by a river, and like this bear fell out of a tree next to him, and it was a cub. That bear showed no signs of aggression. If we hadn't shot first, I know. It likely would have ignored us and moved on. All very well for you to say, but perhaps you have some kind of primal bond with these animals. But I, sir, this is it. Uh, I was telling my Uncle Dave story. When the cub jumped out, though, he took off running because he was smart. I hope I don't have to smoke a pipe. Did you know a mama bear is going to be around? Get to the cabin, alright. Hey. He's like, dude, I'm smoking a doobie. It's all good, bro. I'm good. <sighs> you do that. Hey, friend. Nice hat. Hello, gentlemen. Hi. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Someone grabbed his boobs. You can see by his vest. Silence isn't the answer! Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up! We come in peace! Go as he says, Marston. 
You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weapon. You fucking ass. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake. No, that's my boy, Nastas. I like that dude. Fuckheads. Yeah, I know. I was there when they killed this toss, asshole. Just keep your head down. The loading Man. you, professor, but I say we get the hell out of here. You don't have to tell me twice. Filthy horror, let's get the fuck out. They killed my boy Nastas, what the hell? Why'd they kill Nerdburger? Damn you, Nerdburger. We should move quickly. There's plenty more where they my came God, from. My God, I feel terrible. My head is pounding. Getting shot at will do that to you. I'm completely drained. It's like my body has aged 10 years. Stop moving. Oops. Oh, slow down, McDougal. Well, I guess this completes my research. Finished, done, complete. Ship the book with one sentence. A savage mind cannot be civilized. We got ambushed by Dutch's gang. Uh -oh. It's a little soon to be drawing conclusions on an entire people. This is very. This is very what? Yeah, suck it! Oh shit! No, no, no! Get away from McDougal! Get away from McDougal! Fuckhead! So you can say thank you, McDougal. Do you have no manners? That was the worst experience of my life. I wish I could say the same. Blackwater. I will never talk ill of you again. Civilization in all its glory, Mr. McDougal. And am I glad to be back? I'm in dire need of a syringe. Something to clear the mind, restore the spirit. So you ain't planning on sleeping then? Sleep? My dear boy, I'll probably never sleep again. You shouldn't become reliant on substances. You know what, I think I'm gonna go get a drink. <laughs> Hey, officer dickbag. I can climb up on that roof, apparently. Why are we in the Sally together? Jesus, safe and sound. Thank the Lord. So much for a meeting of mine. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Mm. Get some rest, Professor. What the hell's that noise? Is that a machine? Somebody fucking the hell to the bed springs? I don't know what that annoying noise is. Oh well. That was a fun mission. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I appreciate it. Goodbye!